Patrol. So two people shot at this high school. Jonathan Hunt with more on this, the Chief Fox Report correspondent. Jonathan, I guess this happened, uh, the location, they barreled into the school just before 1.15 local time. Yeah, just before 1.15 local time, Chef, and this tragically was the first day back at school after the uh, holiday break uh, for that particular school in Nebraska. So a tragic outcome there. It appears the police got an ID on this person pretty quickly. They knew the apartment to go to. They obviously had the description of that car. He had been seen fleeing the shooter in that particular car. This is car. insane. Here, uh, at this stage, the what only adult staff is. of the school were targeted. We are hearing, thankfully, that no students were involved at all, no students hurt in the shooting ship. Jonathan, thanks. I want to get to another story that's breaking right now, and that is the shooting at a mall. Uh, and we've gotten a lot more information on that one. Trace Gallagher is following this from our West Coast newsroom. Trace, update us. It's happening in Chandler, Arizona, Shepard, about 10 miles outside of Phoenix. This was a shooting between undercover officers and an armed robbery suspect. Well, now this thing moved from the parking lot of the Fashion Center Mall in Chandler across the street to a Baja Fresh Mexican fast food restaurant. And now we're being told by the Chandler Fire Department there may have been shots fired inside the Baja Fresh. Now, there were reports earlier that there was a possible hostage situation inside this Baja Fresh. You can see the SWAT teams. You can see on the other side, if you missed it, uh, near the other restaurant, that there are some officers with guns drawn. We do not know how many people were inside that Baja Fresh, but again, it's a little after noon in the West here. You would imagine that there were people inside getting ready for lunch or ordering lunch. And now we're being told by the Phoenix, or the Chandler Fire Department, rather, there may have been shots fired inside. We're still waiting for and, police wow, to confirm this is crazy. that and to confirm if, in fact, there are hostages being held inside, who was shot, how many people, very fluid situation there, but it began as an armed robbery in the uh, parking lot of the mall chef that moved across the street to the Baja Fresh restaurant, and that's where we stand right now. Here's a little more that we've gotten from local reporting, KPHO Television, Channel 5 locally there uh, in the Chandler area at least, has reported that police are searching for a man named Daniel Perez who is being held on two counts of aggravated assault on Arizona Department of Public Safety officers after a shooting back on December the 10th in Casa Grande. But on the December the 16th, he was mistakenly released from custody by a local county justice of the peace after he posted three hundred twenty dollars oh, bond man. for an outstanding misdemeanor charge back in 09. So it appears they let somebody out of jail early and now they were searching for this guy and that's where the shooting that's where all of this trouble began and the shooting in the mall today, the fact the Chandler oh, no. Mall is still on lockdown, it's my understanding. And it all moved over to this Baja Fresh as Trace Gallagher has been reporting. So two big stories we're following and, and waiting at this moment to learn with the school shooting that happened uh, at Millard School at Millard South there in uh, Omaha, waiting to learn now about the condition of these two people. Uh, Jonathan Hunt, we know that the, that the principal there was shot and injured. We know that one of the two victims, both of them are adults, one of the two victims is critical and was taken by life flight, the other not as bad and taken by ground ambulance. Uh, we don't know who's who there yet though, right? Who is who, Chef? We know that the principal's name, by the way, is Curtis Case. Uh, he has been confirmed by a bunch of uh, reports out of there to be one of those who were shot. The other one is also a man. We do not know his identity. A condition of the particular condition of both of them, we don't know. All we do know is that one is in critical condition. Medical helicopter took that particular patient to Creighton University Medical Center. We're waiting for updates from uh, medical staff there now as to the exact condition of that person uh, who is said to be critical, Chef. We don't know any background, though. We, like this shooter, whom they've apparently gotten into custody now from the red car. Uh, we, we don't know.